Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. In this video, I am going to show you how to upload and download and display images and file into Firebase using React. So let's get started. So make sure that you have already installed Node.js and npm in your system. So after that, open your terminal and write npx space create dash react dash app and your app name. I am giving my app name as Firebase dash react dash image and press enter and it will take some time to download all the dependencies and uh, till then i'm showing you what to do so open your browser and write firebase.google.com and you have to sign in and click on go to console now this page will be opened and you can see many existing projects are there so you have to create a new project so enter your project name I am giving my project name as firebase-react-image and click on this button and just turn off this statistics part because you don't need that and create that project and then you will get this kind of screen and as you want to implement it in your web app so click on web icon and give your project name here so I am giving uh, as firebase dash react dash image and then click on this button and it will uh, actually create your project and then it will provide some key api key or app id now go back to your terminal again then uh, write cd space your app name that is firebase dash react dash image and then write code space dot to open uh, VS Code code editor into the same directory. Now inside the same directory, you have to open your terminal and write npm space install space firebase to install the firebase dependency in your project. So after completing, you have to go to src folder and here you need to create one file named firebase.js and uh, you have to include all the configuration of firebase here so at first you have to import firebase dependency so write import firebase from firebase and then you have to make one object so write const space config and then go back to your browser and here you can see these things just copy and paste it inside that object okay so now scroll down and click on this button and okay i will come back to this letter yeah after that write firebase dot initialize app and pass the config object here and then export the firebase as default write fi export firebase uh, export default firebase okay now go back to uh, app.js file and delete the whole thing and you have to convert it into a uh, class full component here so you can see so at first i have to import that firebase.js file here so i'm writing firebase import firebase from uh, dot slash firebase because it is inside the same directory and here I will uh, need one input field the type of the input field is file so write type equals to file and I will need one on change attribute here and one button to upload that particular file or image and here inside the button also i have to provide uh, i have to give one on click attribute and then uh, for showing that particular image i need one image tag that is uh, img tag uh, so I'm giving the ID as uh, like this okay 
so now uh, you have to declare the constructor so inside the constructor uh, i have to declare the state actually so write this dot state and uh, inside the state object uh, i have to write the files as null because whenever the user or uh, whenever i will change the file content i will save the file into this state or i will update the state okay now uh, i will need one method here that is handle change and inside the on change attribute you have to write one arrow function so inside it write this dot handle change and then pass the file so write e dot target dot files okay now come to the handle change method here i will just change the state or update the state whenever the user select one file so write this dot state set state and inside it just uh, assign the files as files okay then again i will need one method that is handle save and again you to call handle save uh, when the save button will be pressed or clicked so inside the handle save method write let bucket name and i am giving the bucket name is images so the bucket name is nothing but all the folders or directories then write let file equals to this dot state dot files and here you need to give zero because uh, you are uploading one file here and if you want to upload multiple files you have to do by add implementation so then write let storage ref equals to firebase dot storage dot ref and here I'm giving the storage reference as uh, my bucket name and then the name of the file and so just concatenate it with bucket name slash and then the name of that particular file okay now write uh, let uh, upload task and then write storage reference dot put and inside the appendix just pass the file and this line uh, actually helps to save your file into the firebase settings and then you have to provide one event so write uh, upload task dot on and inside it write firebase dot storage dot task event dot uh, state changed and it will uh, just perform whenever the state will be changed so on state change uh, I will define one uh, arrow function here so inside that arrow function uh, write let download url equals to upload task dot snapshot dot download url and uh, it will just provide you the download url of the particular file to be uploaded uh, now come to the uh, render method here into again need one button to display that particular uploaded image so write button and name the button as uh, show image okay now uh, again you uh, need to provide here on click attribute so on placing uh, into that button it will call just 
one method that is show image and here I'm going to declare the show image method here so inside the show image method write let storage ref equals to firebase dot storage dot ref and you have just initialized the storage reference of firebase then write let space ref equals to storage ref dot child and then write uh, images because your bucket name is uh, images and then concatenate it with the current state uh, so write this dot state dot file and you have to give zero here because you are uploading one file and then dot name okay so now write let uh, just a minute so write storage ref dot child then write the images here because your bucket name is images then concatenate with the current state file name so write these dot state dot files uh, 0th index and then dot name and then dot get uh, download URL and it will return one promise so you have to write dot then and inside it one callback function will be there so write inside then and it will just return one callback function release so you can receive from URL so write URL here and inside this callback function just write uh, document In, uh, and also for uh, testing it you can console log it and then finally write document dot get element by id and just copy that id and paste it here and then dot src and pass the url here okay now save it and open your terminal again and write npm space start to start the react server now go back to your browser open a new tab and redirect to localhost 3000 port so you can see it is rendering all the html elements here now uh, one small thing i have to do right now that is go back to your firebase tab again then click on storage link and click on this button and then again so here uh, this kind of screen will be opened and you have to change or edit this to not equals to null to equals to equals to null now publish that rule and save it and go back to the local host 3000 now choose one image now click on save button and then click on show image button and i have not given here any progress so it is actually zoomed up and if you zoom out you can see that the uploaded image is there so if you go inside the firebase tab inside the file section you can see inside the images bucket the image is there you can see it is the same image that is uploaded from here so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video thank you mm -hmm.